What's up guys, this is Brandon with Multi-Level Media. In this video I want to show you guys how to utilize Final Cut Pro as a photo editing software. Um, for the example I'm going to show you, I'm going to take three images on a tripod. Each image has the same composition and then I had the subject move around um, so that we can blend the three images together. Um, and create a unique photo where you know she's in several locations compiled into the same image. Let's go ahead and jump in Final Cut and I'll show you guys how to do this. All right, so now that we're in Final Cut Pro, um, all you need to do is line up your photos, um, stack them on top of each other, make sure that they're all scaled to the same size um, and that um, we're just gonna use a draw mask and that's going to allow us to bring in the images um, that are stacked on top of each other. So let's go ahead and drop this draw mask on our first clip. And we just want to draw the mask around our subject. Um, and if you have to scale out, um, go ahead and scale out. So I'm going to go down to 25%, uh, make sure that we get all the way around our subject. And when you complete that mask, it's going to allow the, the photo below to um, come up and blend in. Uh, make sure that we feather out our mask, just making sure that there's no hard cuts in the image. Um, and then once that looks okay, go ahead and draw a mask again onto the clip uh, below the first clip. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and select that clip and we're going to draw our second mask. Make sure that you stay as tight as possible to that subject, um, just for you know masking purposes. So I'm gonna draw around her, and then you'll see that that allows the third clip to um, bleed through here. So again, I just want to feather up that mask, make sure that there's no hard cuts, and then let's go ahead and fit it to size. Um, everything looks pretty clean. Um, so you can really do um, a, a variety of things with this. Pretty much everything that you can do in video, you can you know use those features on photo. So um, any effects, um, you know any of the even different titles and um, generators can also be used on images. So keep that in mind. Um, get creative with it. If you want to go ahead and do any color grading, you can drop an adjustment layer on there. Um, so once I have that adjustment layer, same thing with editing video. Just go ahead and um, you know go through your color grading process. I'm gonna go ahead and put a LUT on there. So you just drop this LUT on the adjustment layer. So when it's on that adjustment layer, it's gonna allow um, that color grading to affect all the images below. Um, so you, you really don't even need to create a compound clip with the three images, um, just grade on top of all of your images. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll choose a lot here. When you use lots, try not to use too much. I mean, I'm doing 0.45. Um, you know, you can see the difference there, but yeah, play around with it. Um, once you get an image that you actually like. Uh, we'll go ahead and export that. So, so again, once you're completed with your color grading process, um, just hover over that image, make sure that you're um, somewhere in that timeline over the image, and go to your export function, and we're gonna save current frame. So when you save that current frame, it's gonna allow you to export that as a PNG image. Next. And we can go ahead and export this. All right. And export your image. Same thing as if you were to export an MP4 file. All right. Let's check out our final image. Here it is. So again, just make sure that you um, keep the proper composition for each of the images that you take and you want to blend. 
Uh, make sure that you mask out properly, feather the mask so that everything looks uh, pretty smooth. And then, you know, if you want to color grade uh, an adjustment layer on top of all your images and go ahead and export as PNG. I thought it was pretty cool. If you guys like this and you can use it, um, certainly let me know in the comments down below. Um, I hope this, you know, helps somebody, you know, create something in Final Cut and, and utilize the software for more than just video. Um, go ahead and edit a photo in there. Um, if you don't have an, another editing software for photo, you know, it's, an, it's a little trick for you. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Put on those post notifications. We will see you guys in the next one. Peace.